Now, if you've clicked on this video, there's a good chance that you're not sure what to 3D print right now. Maybe you want to print a gift or something practical or just something that you can enjoy yourself. Maybe you just want to look at something. Who knows? Well, don't worry about it. I've spent ages looking for some stuff that I would like to print, and I'm going to share those five things with you today because these are five things that you will absolutely want to 3D print at some point. So without wasting too much more of your time, let's get to the prints. So the first thing is just finished and if you love gardening or anything like that in any way or maybe you've got some kids that this could be fun to do you have to try this out. So down here on the printer that I'm just about to take off we actually have an automatic watering uh, seedling sort of grow station and then in here we can attach a bottle which was going to automatically water all of the plants. Now when I saw this thing I wasn't sure if it would actually work I thought I'm going to print this I'm going to try it it's not going to work. But as you can see, I did test it all out. I printed out green pots uh, and red pots as well. So there's four green, four red. This way I can actually sort of indicate what's in each one. For example, you could put some like basil in the green one. Maybe you could put like a tomato plant in the red one. And then you know what exactly what you're growing when they come out as shoots. However, when I put these all together, what I did is I filled up all of the pots with soil and then got them ready to go into the thing put the tray upside down and screwed it onto the bottle which is just a regular old coke bottle by the way this is the one that works just fine and then all i did was flip it over the water stops at a right level you pop your trays in and now your plants are ready to be watered even when you're not around i was really impressed with this i i genuinely think this is such a cool idea and the design for this is something that if you love gardening or even if you just want to grow something with your kids you don't have to worry about watering it or forgetting if you water it just pop them in here and let them grow now this next thing only takes 10 minutes to print and yet it's probably going to save you money in the long run and that is because this thing this tiny little triangle here is a toothpaste tube squeezer this allows you to pop it on the end of a toothpaste tube and squeeze out every last drop of toothpaste that you can get so it is going to save you money by making sure you get the most value you can and don't throw away any waste that being said this is also super useful for anybody who maybe struggles to use their hands to squeeze out every last drop normally it is definitely a tool that is useful for that but also i find that i'm going to be using it for my kids this is something they can just pop on there squeeze out every last little bit and also i mean kids love this sort of thing you add this to toothbrushing and suddenly they want to brush their teeth even a little bit more so definitely something to add and something that you want to print 10 minutes that's short in the length of this video and you'll have one of these next up is a print that i've used for a long time now this isn't actually something that i just specifically found for this video i have one of these and i've used it for months probably about six to seven months now and it is super useful it doesn't take long to print because of all the gaps and all the you know the hex spaces but that's actually part of the whole thing as well you can fit anything in here it holds so many different things in terms of like your, your tweezers if you want to remove those freaking pain in the r supports you guys know what i'm talking about you got pliers as well that can fit in there you got your scissors you got glue sticks everything you guys can see you can fit anything in here it it is super easy to organize all of the things that you may want to grab and use quite a lot you don't want to throw away in a drawer i did green because i just have a ton of green filament but i mean you could put this in any color that you wanted it doesn't really matter they also have places on the back where you could wall mount these so you can have them organized and you can hang them all down like that but the shelf is super nice and i use it for all of the stuff that i need for 3d printing and crafts and stuff that i have access to a lot things that i'm going to be throwing all here and there leave around on my desk all the time if i have this near me i don't leave it on my desk i leave it in here then I always know where to find them. For the amount of time that these take to print, it's actually absolutely worth it in my opinion. So if you haven't done a desk hidey just like this one, definitely give it a go and see what you guys think. I'm gonna print another couple of these, line them all up, maybe even wall mount them. And that way I'll never run out of space for the stuff that I just like to throw in there. Very quick interruption. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do consider it. It will help the channel out an absolute ton and it would be very, very appreciated and i will promise to you to give you the best quality videos and improve the quality of all the videos as i possibly can i will always try and improve in any aspects that i can and listen to any feedback in the comments that being said let's get back to the video now i don't know about you guys but tv remotes in my house especially with kids you can blame the kids sometimes it's me as well they just disappear they vanish i don't know where the hell you put them and like i said you can blame me as well because i just put them down don't really have anywhere for them and so this find was absolutely perfect this is a tv remote holder that i'm going to place in my living room and now whenever there is a tv remote that is that is used and finished with it is gonna go in here that way <laughs> i say it's gonna go in here we'll see what happens but that way we'll always know where they are there's three slots in here uh, with little bands it looks really nice i like the way that it looks two different sort of colors you can print them slot them in together and honestly now hopefully with this we can place everything in here and we have all of the different remotes that we do need 
And, uh, well, actually, one of them is missing because I lost it earlier and we still haven't found it. So I better get on the hunt and go and find that as soon as this video is done. But this honestly didn't take long to print at all. So if you're someone just like me or maybe your kids also leave all their remotes and stuff all over the place and you don't know where they are, then it is worth grabbing one of these. And who knows, maybe it will be your solution. And now we're going to end with this one. This is probably my most favorite one of the entire video, to be honest. And just because I'm going to have actually quite a lot of use out of it. And I am and I have an excuse to go out and buy way more batteries. Because this is a battery holder. Now, I use a lot of, like, tiny batteries. And the CR2032s is something that I use a lot in all the crafts and stuff that I make. But they're just kind of rattling around at the bottom of a drawer right now. And so... Finding this and printing this was such a cool thing. This specifically is a battery holder for CR2032 batteries, but the same listing had all of the different other battery types that you would want, like common batteries that you would want to place in these, and you can have them all stack up, and they just have dispensers as well. This is actually really cool. It prints in only two different pieces. There's other bits as well for the labels, but I'm just going to paint around that little like label because it's already like indented into the thing anyway and it didn't take long at all to print it was super easy there wasn't really any supports like there was a little bit but they came off nice and easy and overall it's super useful the batteries just go in they dispense themselves they stack up nicely not only that they all have wall mount options on the back of them and they can all connect together too meaning that you can have them all lined up and dispensable and you can just grab the battery that you need i love it this is great like this is this is this is the sort of thing that i love 3d printing for this is this is great I, i'm gonna print all of the other ones and i'm gonna put them all where my batteries go and they're all gonna be organized from now on i love this one but anyway let me know what you guys think about all these 3d prints in the comments please do subscribe to the channel uh, it would help the channel out a ton and i will definitely be making loads more of these videos and improving the quality as much as i can otherwise i'll catch you on the next one see you later guys